Bitcoin is seeing a slight breakdown right now, but do not get fooled. I think this is going to be a perfect opportunity to be entering the Bitcoin market. Possibly by this week, we are going to be reaching new autumn highs. So all of this and more, I'm going to be exactly explaining in this update video. So make sure to smash up that like button. And as always, let's first of all have a look into what's that imminent short term. Now, what we can be seeing over here is that we are creating an exponential rally towards the upside. Now, we came very close, testing our previous autumn high, which is going to be our red level of resistance. Literally, we are only 0.3% away from reaching new autumn highs, but just before hitting that previous autumn high, well, we got an insane rejection back towards the downside. But I actually think that this rejection we are getting right now is going to be the perfect opportunity in the market. So I will be explaining that exactly in this video, because literally, I've been saying it on my channel for many times, Bitcoin, my final warning about that we are going to be breaking towards new autumn highs. Before that, I I've been talking about this symmetrical triangle. Of course, I have been saying that it can all go very, very quickly, moving towards new autumn highs. But yesterday, during our stream, we actually had a look into the last cycle. What happened the last time exactly, whenever Bitcoin broke abo above that previous autumn high? And interestingly enough, it is already starting to look very similar, because last time around, we also got this rejection just before hitting that autumn high. Okay, we didn't reach our autumn high yet, but we got this rejection just before reaching that level. Now, that was probably going to be your last moment to be entering the Bitcoin markets before exploding towards the upside. And right now, once again, the same exact thing is happening. We are getting our rejection just before reaching that level. So probably right now, once again, if we are going to be seeing this f further correction, it is going to be a very good opportunity. And well, on top of that, the markets actually are still looking quite bullish. If we are going to be having a look into what's our Bitcoin ETF, data. Well, the data that we got from yesterday were actually still looking quite bullish. We got another 560 million US dollars of Bitcoin inflow, definitely pointing out that institutions are still willing to buy more Bitcoin at these levels. Now, I think they are just preparing themselves for the Bitcoin halving. They are trying to be front running the Bitcoin halving because do keep in mind, it is going to be incoming in about 49 days and Bitcoin is already trading very close towards new autumn highs while we have not even had our halving yet. And I think that these institutions are just going to be front running this and that is why we could be breaking above our autumn highs. Now on top of that as well, I've been saying it for the past couple of weeks to the past couple of months, while well, the Bitcoin funding rates are actually looking quite bullish and on top of that also the Bitcoin RSI is also looking very bullish. We are just at our most exponential stages of the market and during these most exponential stages of the market, you definitely do not want to try shorting Bitcoin. Okay, yes, these Bitcoin funding rates are trading very high, but in the last bull market, that just indicated the exponential stage of the Bitcoin bull market. So yes, of course, the funding rates are trading quite high, but I'm not going to be taking that all too seriously because right now we are in a bull market and I'm not going to be shorting in a Bitcoin bull market. I'm only going to be looking for long positions. I've been saying this already in last summer that I'm not going to be trying to short. I'm only going to be long the Bitcoin price. But first of all, yes, I do think that we can be seeing a little bit more of a correction, just like in previous cycle, before eventually reaching and breaking that ultimate high. So most definitely, a little bit of a correction would be completely fine over here, but I'm not going to be the one who is going to be bearish. I'm rather actually going to be still quite bullish and looking for long positions. Now, just in the case of a larger correction, well, we can be having a look into what's approximately a minus 20% correction. But before before talking about that exactly, how I am going to be approaching this. Well, before talking about that, guys, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself, make sure to check out that link down below because you can right now claim 220 US dollars by only depositing $100. Now, on top of that, I've also just shared a very good trading setup, in my opinion, in my Telegram channel, which is completely for free. All you need to do is click on that link down below and have a look into what's the requirements. You can be signing up on Deepcoin or over on Bybit. Feel out this form and you are going to be eligible for my free VIP group where guys, I've just shared that next Bitcoin trade. But with that being said, guys, having a look into what's our average correction, well, it has 
all the time been of an about a 20% towards the downside. Now, if we are going to be seeing right now a 20% a correction, which, by the way, I do not think is going to be likely, okay, it is going to be more likely that we are going to be seeing more upside getting created because the trend is your friend. But just in the case that we are going to be seeing a correction, well, I think it is going to be of about 20%. And in the case of a 20% correction, well, in my opinion, it is not really going to be that horrible because that will be setting us back literally at about the 55K level. And well, if we are going to be retracing back towards that level, it would literally be the level where we were trading at uh, last week. Now, I do not think that this correction is going to be very likely, but just in case that it were to be happening, well, it would not be very horrible. But one thing is for sure, we have just closed our highest daily candle close ever in Bitcoin history. So this is already kind of an autumn high. Now we have not broken our previous autumn high yet, but definitely we have closed our highest daily candle ever. So congratulations for that. Definitely, uh, definitely indicating that much more is about to come. Now on top of that, this is in my opinion going to be the time to start allocating your Bitcoin in towards altcoins. And I have explained that exactly in my latest video. So make sure to go ahead and watch it. But anyways, with that being said, make sure to be following me over on Twitter to stay up to date about every single market development. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.